these are just our butter snap pretzels. So we have two sticks of unsalted butter with our brown sugar going into the bottom of our pan here. We have this at medium heat and we're gonna go ahead and just let this all cook down and melt that butter up. All right, as you can see, the butter has melted down, the sugar has melted down and they are combining into a beautiful, simple syrup here. This is looking fabulous. All right. We're pouring our beautiful mixture here right on top of our butter pretzels. This looks delicious, smells delicious. This is the easiest candy you will ever make. So good. I'm very excited for this. Yes, just wait until you see all those toppings we're gonna put on. Ooh. Mm hmm Okay, let's give this a little bit of a spread here. Wow, we wanna get this to the edges. It's okay if it doesn't quite go to the edges, it will all even out eventually. I'm just gonna give this a little gentle spread. We have some Hershey's milk chocolate chips. We're just gonna sprinkle these right on top of our hot candy. We have some Reese's peanut butter chips we're going to sprinkle on top of our candy as well. Wow. This is a sweet and salty dessert here. You can use any flavor combo you want. I'm going for chocolate chip peanut butter. Great, so I'm using the entire bag of peanut butter chocolate chips. I used half of a bag of the milk chocolate for the initial layer, and I'm gonna go on top with more milk chocolate. Oh, yes. Yeah, because I really wanna intertwine that peanut butter in with the chocolate. Love it. Yes, yummy, yummy. All right, let's just give this a little spread while it's nice and hot. It's gonna melt down all that chocolate. So good. Yum. And you guys can use any kind of chocolate. You can use white chocolate, you can use dark chocolate, you can use semi-sweet chocolate, any type that you'd like. They even have those cream cheese chocolate chips. Oh yeah, that's really good. Okay. We're also bringing in some pink meltable chocolate here, and I'm just gonna give this a little drizzle all over. How pretty is that? So pretty. Love it. This is just a great way to just make your dessert a little bit fancy, is just to add a colored chocolate of some kind. All different colors out there. Wow. Love this. I'm using a fork for the drizzle. That's the secret for the drizzle. Don't use a spoon, it'll clump up. Oh, I know, right? Good to know. Good to know. And while it's still warm, we are going to add some sprinkles. I'm just going to add a few of these cute little beads here. This is such a fun way to make the dessert a little bit fancier for your party if you're doing it. For a get together, you can customize any colors, any designs, any chocolates. So good. I'm going to go ahead and put this into the refrigerator to set a bit. Okay, so I have this in the refrigerator for about two hours. You can also just power freeze it or you can make it the night before a party and let it sit in the fridge just so that the chocolate gets a chance to harden. Let's take up one of these edges here. This is great. They call this candy crack because it is delicious, but it also goes crack just like that. Wow. Love it. Oof. Yes, so you can break this into different pieces, just like that. And then put it on your delightful serving plate. All right, this is looking beautiful. I love the way this candy turns out every time. All right, let's try some. I'm gonna try this one here. Oh my gosh, this smells so good, you guys. Ah, oh, I love it. Mmm. <laughs> mm. Wow. That is so good. Mm-hmm. 